Okay, today I'm going to be doing some molybdenum coating or moly coating on these bullets here. We have a mix. I've got some 300 grain Hornady 458s, uh, some 225 grain Hornady 452s, and some Hornady 357 180 grain bullets as well. Uh, I use a Lyman kit. Pretty much follow the directions, but I have a little step forward or first step to help make things work out better. These are some that I've done in the past. These are some uh, 62 grain steel core, uh, 224 bullets, the green tips basically without the grain on them. Those are ones that I've molly coated. What I'm doing right here is I have some acetone and a plastic bottle. And I do this to get all the grease or extra stuff off, and I will drain it into another random bottle here, and let the bullets air dry. And then I'll go on to the next step. Uh, thing I do a little different because I read online a lot of people are having issues with the molybdenum not bonding to the outside of the bullet. Was uh, decided to try washing the bullets essentially with uh, acetone. All I use is a water bottle, some on the bottom. This is what I just used. Fortunately, I recorded it wrong when I was doing it, but oh well. Here's some I've done in the past. These are some 62 grain steel core 224 bullets. They've come out uh, real nice and consistent. The uh, cantilevers don't fill too well, but other than that, they come out pretty good. Okay, on to the next step. Move the bullets over here by my tumbler. Uh, I believe any of the Lyman tumblers should work. The kit comes, when you get it, it comes with two bowls, ceramic media, which starts out white, and then you add the mo uh, molybdenum disulfate or molly to it. It also comes with a bag of untreated corn cob media and another bowl there for it. Um, Basically, once you're done with it, or once you acetone wash it, just try to not touch it. Uh, goes right in there. Leave it on, cycling for three hours. Uh, I, I pull it out, roll them in uh, cloth, or uh, I'll use paper towels or a cloth or both sometimes. I like to use a cloth with the paper towels in it so I don't ruin my cloth with the molly all over it. Uh, and essentially, you're just knocking off all the extra molly from the bullets. Then you take the bullets, once they're uh, good and free of loose molly, put them in the clean corn cob media and let them go for 15 minutes. And once that's all set, you're all done. Okay, back to this. I ended up giving these guys another full hour, and I had to add another uh, half tablespoon of molly to it, or excuse me, teaspoon, had another half teaspoon of molly to it. Uh, I haven't used this in probably almost two years, so my molly was probably a little, I was probably lacking a little molly in the mix here, so. Take this off. Try to get one of each here. There we go. As you can see, it's kind of messy on the gloves. There's one of the uh, 458 300 grain hollow points. It took coating pretty well. As you can see, the cantilevers don't uh, take much from Molly. The ceramic pellets kind of act as an abrasive and beat it in and it doesn't get down in there. This is the uh, 452 225 grain Hornady flex tip and the tip actually did quote or did uh, coat very, fairly well. <clears throat> Here's the 180 grain Hornady XTP 357 diameter. I'll get these sorted out and be right back. Okay, I got these all sorted out. 
Here's a close-up look of them all. And the next step, I got the bowl on already, is the untreated corn cob media. So I'll put those in there for 15 minutes. Uh, a couple things I wanted to note too that I didn't mention in the last part was that uh, I noticed that it wasn't coating and I had to give them an extra hour. One thing I noticed was the inside of the bowl. You can see where the molybdenum sticks to the inside of the bowl where the uh, ceramic media rotates around. And when I went to check them, I noticed that the molybdenum down in here along the sides was pretty much cleaned off. So I think that's one good indicator to tell if it looks clean like that, you got to add more at that point. Um, when I get done with the bowl, I, I pour cut out there. I used to use a pizza pan with, uh, you know, dedicated to the reloading stuff. I use it for sorting brass and whatnot, but I'll probably, I got to get another one to use and I'll just put a towel on it to sort it and I just dump it out in there. It makes it a lot easier than sifting through the bowl. But when I go to put this in storage, I use a bolt with a wing nut through it so that way I can't spill any of it out and keeps the mess in the bowl for the most part. I'll get this in here, give it 15 minutes and I'll show the end result. Okay, so these are all done. Darkened up the uh, media a little bit. I'm going to sift it out into my uh, regular tumbler bowl here. Here's the end product. Pour it right out on here. Get you right Polished them up a little bit and like I said it removed any excess so there is the final result, all nice and evenly coated. Just got to finish knocking out some of the media there. And that's how you do it.